something that really got me was when he was showing the text message or something like that between them and you know to find out that he actually called her mom that got me like dad got me you know you don't do that to somebody that calls you mom you hello know guys and welcome was... back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is soma um, and to all of you that keep coming back hello and welcome back quick reminder if you've never subscribed just to remind you to click that red button there that says subscribe and after that click the bell sign in that way you get a notification whenever i upload a new video so in today's video, I actually want to like say something about this Tati and James Charles drama. I think there are things there for us to learn. Really, there are things there for us to learn. To start with, I'm just going to say that I'm not a fan of James Charles. You know, I didn't even know this guy until this whole drama. And uh, that was how I got to know him. And even when I went, you know, when this drama started and I, I started looking into him and I went to Instagram, there are some posts he has that I, that like seriously, I just, you know, cringe at some of the things he's sharing. There's some where he barely had any clothes on and stuff like that like i said he's not my cup of tea okay but i'm gonna say this when this first when this thing started i didn't know about it, it was my son that told me about this it was my son that told me about this drama um my son is in college and um, he would normally watch like um KSI, ksi and you know he watched typically the boys side of youtube and at the moment he has his exams so he's not really watching youtube at the moment because he's studying for studying for his exams but what he does is sometimes he wants to quickly catch up on what's going on he goes to this channel they call it drama a lot and that's where he get, does his own gets his own catch up so this tati tati and james drama was talked about on drama a lot and that was how my son knew about it and he came to me and said oh mom have you heard about the Tati and James, whatever, sag, uh, drama going on. I was like, no, what's that? And he just kind of just talked about it briefly. And that was how I actually went looking into this. I was watching her video. I just, some things didn't click personally with me. I searched for James Charles. And the last video on his channel was that he went to the... Um, the Met Gala. I wouldn't know much about the Met Gala myself, but you know, it's all over YouTube. And so I was kind of like, okay, I watched Tati's video and she was talking about how she was the one that helped him and she was the one that picked him up from, you know, whatever point. And, and now, you know, she's the one that helped him to get where he is. And then I clicked into Ch Charles' channel, James Charles' channel, and I saw that he's in the Met Gala. I was like, hmm. Just few things didn't add up to me. And I said to myself, I, I think there may be a bit of jealousy going on. And I was just putting a few things together. And I was like, okay, she was the one that basically helped him. But he is 16 million and she is uh, 6 million. And I was like, mm, that's a massive gap. That's one. And secondly, you know, secondly, to those people, I don't know, to some people, Met Gala and all those kind of award ceremony or whatever they're called, you know, can be something to want to be part of. And I was saying to myself, mm, I, I, just, I, I just felt like Tati's video didn't add up to me. And she talked about her vitamins and stuff like that. And I said to myself, I said this, I feel personally feel like there's a bit of jealousy going on um, that, you know, just didn't add up. And my son was like, you know, um, my son was like, um, everybody on YouTube is saying this and, you know, even Drama Alert was saying that. I said, forget about what people are saying. I'm telling you what I'm seeing and how I feel. I just left it. I just left it. I, I made another video where I was talking about the African community and stuff like that. And if you watch that video, you would see that I didn't address this drama because I knew there were some things that didn't add up for me with, with, with the drama. I basically, I basically talked about like it's impressive how much um, um, Tati has helped this boy. Like it's really impressive, and I talked about it, and I said it's such a good thing to do, and um. You know, I praise her, like, no, regardless of what's happening, regardless of the drama and everything, she still is commendable, you know, for the amount of help she's, like, you know, how, how much of herself she's put forward to help this boy to, to get to where he is, right? She's featured him so many times. She's collaborated with him so much. She's given him so many shouts out. Like, she has been amazing, you know, like, when it comes to, you know, really helping this boy to, to make it on YouTube. Uh, and that, to be honest, she needs to be commended. And that was why I talked about that in my video and I didn't say a thing about the drama. Uh, coming back to the drama, he's talked about Tati's vitamins several times. And then he talked about this one once. And then he said he took it for sleeping. Okay. 
but Tati's one he didn't say he took them for sleeping and then I saw another video somewhere of a girl doing a review of Tati's um, um, uh, 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 vitamins and she was talking about how it was good for her skin and her hair and all of these things so Tati's product is different and this boy the sugar bear whatever is different the one he said he took is a different thing altogether I just felt like it was bigger than the vitamins, I felt like it was just bigger than what she was saying. I feel like that was, it just, some things just didn't add up. Like, I personally felt like it's possible that she became jealous. That was what I was thinking, that she became jealous because this boy was invited to the Met Gala and she wasn't. And it, let me tell you something, where I, went, where I really want to, you know, hammer on is this. Jealousy is one of the most natural things in the world. I, I feel like sometimes, right, sometimes holding back jealousy can be as hard as holding back a sneeze. It, it can't be hard. And I've made videos where I talked about the spirit of jealousy. Sometimes people do not plan to be jealous, but somehow it's, it's like a spirit that overcomes them, that it, it can eat people up inside. And that's why if you have a friend and you feel like you're beginning to be jealous, you watch out for this feeling of the spirit of jealousy and you can try your best to fight it it's a natural thing even the best of friends can fall out because of jealousy not just tati the other the other guy that wears makeup as well and just a few people i felt like i sensed so much personally i sensed jealousy i was saying these things to my son but i think he didn't get it because everybody on social media was saying the james charles james charles i remember saying to my son i i knew my son didn't get it but yesterday um he watched drama a lot and there was an update and the things i said to him started coming up and he texted me i was like um let me see that text uh-huh he sent me a text and he said jeffrey he said jeffrey and tati got exposed and i said didn't i tell you this and he was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe you, you were right. I can't believe, you know. And I said, I knew what I was telling you. There was so much about this story that didn't add up. So that said, what I want to say is this. Like, when this boy came, I started narrating the whole story. Something else, yeah, something else I said, I was saying to my son is this. This woman said so, a, a particular incident happened during her birthday. And I don't want to say all these things because there are some of these conversations I'm not interested in. But, um, you know, those people that know the story know the story. My channel is not that kind of channel. But this so-called bad activity she was saying this boy uh, you know was doing stuff or was luring people into whatever she was you know saying that made some people to call this boy a predator or whatever they were saying something else i didn't add up that i was saying to my son is this when was her birthday because i googled straight away and her birthday was in february according to google her birthday was uh, february 14th okay now if something happened since february 14th how come she never talked about it since February and this is February, March, April and this is in May. In May, all of a sudden she comes out to tell the story of something that happened on, on her birthday. So why did she have to wait three months to talk about something that happened then? Shockingly enough, James Charles is after making a video and he said it that it was never the way she described it that even she's you know he was even talking about how she sent him um, a text message and said you are supposed to just hook up with him or whatever you're not supposed to marry him that's what she said to him and that sounds so weird it sounds so weird she is saying that oh she was so offended the way he was behaving he, you know my whole family was dead i was so embarrassing da, 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 da. but from the receipts this boy is showing, she brought, she sent him a text saying, you're supposed to just date him or hook up with him. You're not supposed to marry him. So she said something else to the public, but behind the back, she, it was something else. I personally, like, it, it's something that is difficult to sometimes, you know, you can't be 100% sure what's going on on people's minds. But like I said, when this whole thing broke, something in my spirit told me that, that it just didn't add up like i said i'm not a fan of this boy but sometimes you know i'm not a fan of james charles you know you just have to stick with you know what is right it doesn't matter if you're someone you don't really you know admire or somebody you're not a fan of you know you just say the truth as it is and it's so disappointing to imagine that you know this boy is 19 i know he's not a baby but he's 19 this woman is 37 year old she is almost twice his age, almost twice his age. And to imagine that she will stoop so, you know, I, I feel like she did an amazing job in helping him. But the way she came out and 
almost destroyed him publicly was really bad it was really bad we have to say the truth just like i can say truthfully that she was such an amazing woman the way she's helped me the way she's helped him i have to also say she was awful in the way she came out and talked about this whole thing publicly and you know the fact that she even went public if you like if you want to end the friendship she made the video and she called it bye sister like if you want to end the friendship you have to can end your friendship you don't have to come on youtube to end your friendship publicly and say these things about do you know where really got me like i said i'm gonna say it again i'm not a fan of this boy at all i'm not zero his i am completely zero his fan but something that really got me was when he was showing the text message or something like that between them and you know to find out that he actually called her mom that got me like dad got me you know you don't do that to somebody that calls you mom you know that was so bad like that was really bad you know he looked up to you like a mother and he called you mom and he has his own mom but he has so much respect for you to the point of calling you mom and then you do this to him publicly worldwide you know it's it's really sad it's really sad uh, 43 42 43 minutes video you addressed to this 19 year old that was that was just an overkill i felt I, honestly the video felt like she came to chew him up and spit him out but now the boy has come out and he has produced so much receipts that showed that she wasn't telling the truth and it's very disappointing uh, considering considering the fact that this woman is a 37 year old woman like how did she get to stoop so low i seriously don't know what she was thinking when she did this all i know at the end of the day she got about 5 million subscribers out of this and he lost a lot of subscribers you know but how, my thing is this like a lot of people subscribe because of the drama because of the tea you know and and i don't think a lot of these people that subscribe will be watching tati's channel because tati is just a makeup um, person she's not into like um she's not into childish stuff or something for the teenagers but this drama believe me i think a lot of teenagers subscribed a lot of people unsubscribed from james and subscribed to her but they are young people that are teenagers and i don't think they would last long with tati they may stay but i don't think they would watch or else she's going to change her her content uh, a lot of people subscribe for the drama and now that the drama is rounding up i think a lot of people will not be watching all these new subscribers these teenagers that are rushing to subscribe or else she changes her content to keep them entertained i i don't think they'll be hanging around for too long and i don't think they'll be watching i don't think so the, the other things i wanted to bring out is you know it just kind of you know reminds me of how the best friendship can become the worst enmity it can happen like, like i said at the beginning of the video jealousy can be as natural as a sneeze it takes a lot to be able to stop a sneeze that's one thing you have to realize about jealousy even the best of friends can end up being enemies out of jealousy i'm still going to say this i've said this before i'm going to still going to say this it's amazing how much they collaborate i'm talking about the makeup guru uh, uh, the white makeup guru people they they collaborate so much and i was seeing collaboration between three of them between three of them sometimes two of them they just collaborated so much they know each other's homes they were in each other's homes they were in each other's they became friends and i think it's something that a lot of other communities of you youtubers but uh, makeup guru community of youtubers need to emulate they need to emulate it because like i've said it before like my kind of video is different like i'm not into like like so anybody that wants to collaborate with me i feel like they're wasting their time because i'm tagged controversial because of the kind of things i talk about uh so there's no point if you are doing things like you know makeup and you come to my channel it, you may not really get the subscribers because a lot of my subscribers are men you know that want to talk about like serious things happening in the society or you know whatever they, they won't be interested so i'm just talking about this particular community of people the makeup guru people i think there's a lot you can learn from these people tati james and the other guy the other makeup guy i don't you know you can learn from them the way they they they, they, they collaborated so much so i'm going to end this by just saying this you know no matter the friendship you have today be very careful because friendships can go sour friendships the best of friendships can become the worst of enmities you know enmity like it can happen the lesson for all of us no matter how amazing that friendship is today it can go sour tomorrow timing the timing of her making that video this boy was there in the met gala 
celebrating whatever he was celebrating over there and she was over wherever she was making a video to destroy him at that same time i personally sense, sense that that was jealousy so at the end of the day we have to commend her she did an amazing job you know she's helped him so much she's amazing like she was so selfless in how much she helped him but we have to also say the truth that what she did publicly humiliate him and twisted things and Put him down, basically, was not right. We, we have to say that it wasn't right. She She's 37-year-old woman. She should, she should know better. She seriously should know better. At, at least they did have a friendship. And that is natural. Friendships can end. It's not a new thing. Friendships end all the time. And, uh, and I have to say that, I have to say that, you know, it is sad to know that this boy called her. I'm not going to say much about his response video. Any of you, any of you can go watch it. But uh, I felt bad to know that this boy called her tatty mom. And she could do this to him. It's just, you know, it, how do you do this to someone that called your mom? You know, I, I, that's how I feel about it. And now with all the things he said, um, it's obvious that um, this boy never went out to hurt. He never went out to hurt um, um tati or oh, something else i have to say is that to be honest looking at all these things oh, definitely i think there was a need to kind of like you know pluck some of the wings of this james charles he was i was he's a, he's a teenager i feel like to an extent you know he was getting really carried away with the whole fame and everything but the things that accused him of he, he, there's no proof that he did any of those things you know there's no proof and and it's obvious that he made every effort to 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 not bring this into public that he did his best to maintain his relationship with uh, Tati, but she's the one that threw it up in the air. And something else that's very disappointing is that a woman of 37, as Tati is, you know, she could have just addressed this boy and left it alone. She dragged this boy's mother into her video. You know, that was very, very disappointing that she would drag this boy's mother into her video. She, she, shouldn't, have she shouldn't have mentioned this boy's mother at all in her video at all it's just quite sad and another and another thing to note is how it's important you know when you hear from one side it's important to hear from the other side before you make up your mind because every day there's going to be saga here and there and until you hear the full details you never know what really happened and um, i think i'm going to end this video here they're just like i said when things happen in other people's lives you always ask yourself what lessons are there to learn and i think the biggest the biggest lesson to learn is that best friends can end up becoming the worst enemy it can happen to anyone uh, and with that i'm just going to say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye